I've made several versions of this video and I've just not been satisfied with them. They've been too long. Um, this will hopefully be my last video in regards to uh, Google's recent changes um, unless they make a bunch more changes and then I'll probably make a video about that. But uh, I have some predictions about Google. Um, I don't see 2016 going very well for Google. Um, I've said this several months ago when they when they showed that they have lost their way. They're they're grasping at straws. They actually don't know what they're doing now. And because they've become I mean they're they're a corporate entity now versus what they were when they started. Um the only ways that they know how to how to grasp for straws are thinking in terms of how can we make more money. It's not a, it's not they're not thinking in the element of how can we make our products better for people? How can you know we make something that people want? No, it's how can we make more money? And those I mean the way they started was the they had the motto don't be evil, right? And when you think that way, you're, the things that you do, you're automatically going to start making money. Because you have something people want. And you want to make it something that people want. And your focus is on making your products really good. And being innovative for the sake of making something better for the people. Okay? It will make money. But that's not how they approach things now. It's been the past few years, but especially the past year and a half, that they have gotten out of that. They've been, um, I mean, they don't even care about the, the ethics of what you get in your search results. You know, it used to be about trying to just get, um, you, you want to research something and you get all the information you want, uh, including the conflicting sides. Well, you don't really get that that much anymore. You know, the first page of your results are they're personalized to what they think you want to see. So you don't actually get to see the other sides of the argu arguments. Then they have that um, they have this this the, the very top result will will show uh uh, uh a synopsis of what uh, they think that you're looking for. Well, when they showed that they don't care that that first result that, that has larger text, that that result doesn't even have to be something true. I mean, when, when you look up a subject and you'll find, let's say, about something about evolution, and you'll find references from uh, a, a Christian viewpoint of evolution, when you look something up that's supposed to be science oriented and you find something that's like, uh, you know, an Alex Jones type of reference as the top result, you know, you, you, you've lost your ethics. It's all about money. And so when Google realized earlier this year that their big plan was falling apart and that Google Plus was not going to be the centerpiece for all of their products because that's how they had it planned before you know you use any of the Google products and everything is connected to Google Plus everything's connected to the people uh, personal elements to their attempts at social networking and now that's falling apart and they're grasping at straws trying to find new ways of making money off of what they still have. Um, it, it's to the point, I mean, it's so extreme. This, this, it's, it's so blatant for, for me when I'm looking at it that it's like, okay, they're trying to see if they can avoid bankruptcy next year. That's how bad I think this, this situation is for them. Um, I mean, it's like when someone 
no matter how much money they're making. They could make just this little amount of money and they're going to be struggling to pay the bills and they make more money and now they've changed their lifestyle and their, their expectations and uh, their obligations. So now they make more money, well now they're still just scraping by to pay the bills and then they make more money and now they're making you know six, fi six figure salaries and they're still struggling just to pay the bills because of the lifestyle changes and the obligations etc right so no matter how much money someone makes they have to make more right and that same sort of philosophy which I don't know what it's called I know there's probably some sort of name for it uh, goes it's part of the corporate world as well you know that same sort of thing and You know, seeing that in action, and, and like eventually, there's a point where their attempt to get more money backfires, and they, everything just kind of comes tum, tum, crumbling down, tumbling down. Um, I see that happening with Google. I see them right now. They're like they're uh, what do you call it? A tailspin. They're they're, they're in a downward spiral. And unless they get someone uh, heading their company that is purely interested in bringing Google's products back to something that is oriented around people and what people want, instead of how they can find a way to make money from people, um, they're going to continue this downward spiral. Um, see, because here's the thing. If they mess up too many of their products, then people will even stop using their search engine. Because when you're on their search page, everything there leads to all of their other products. And you get notifications and things like that from their <laughs> unsocial networking site that they've just recently changed to unsocial networking. <laughs> um, you know, everything leads to that still. And if people stop using a lot of their products, they're not going to want constant reminders of their other products whenever they try to just do a search for something. So people will, I mean, if they, there are too many of their products get messed up, people will move on to other, even other search engines, which is where Google got its start. But as I've said in other videos, you know, over the, over the past few years, they don't, they didn't, they've gotten rid of uh, simple options. You know, they, uh, things like putting a plus before a word, you know, ensures that that word has to be in the search. Well, now you have to put it in quotation marks, and then sometimes even that doesn't always work like it's supposed to. They expect their algorithm to just take care of things when, you know, if that's the way, if the way that their search engine works right now is how it, it worked when they started, they wouldn't be the big company they are now. So, um, but yeah, people will move on to a different search engine. This, this is, there, there is a lot at stake right now with, with so many changes they're making. And they never, they never, they never added more options to things like Google Docs. And that's like, I mean, Final Writer from 1993 had 10 times more options than Google Docs does. <laughs> you know? It's not, even, it's not even a replacement for an office suite. It's just, it's not. It's, it's, it's pathetic. Um, that's why most businesses don't use it. They still do, you know, Microsoft Office or they do one of the Office alternatives like LibreOffice or something like that. That's why. They've never fixed that. Um, there, there's, there's so much stuff that, that people already don't really use that much. Um, and if people, again, if people don't want, if people stop using their their products, they're going to be in, in trouble. They're going to really be in trouble. You know, people, I mean, there's Gmail. Gmail will always have people wanting to use it. Um, there's Android. But, you know, feasibly, because they called Gmail Gmail and not Google Mail, 
they could always sell that off if they were filing bankruptcy. Android, they could sell off if they were filing bankruptcy. A lot of this stuff they could sell off. Um, YouTube, though. YouTube, as I've said, they're getting rid of the you in YouTube. They are... They don't want it to be a community of people. They want it to be a uh, competition for uh, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. And it's, it, it's a poor attempt. You know, they... And if they're turning off some of the reasons why content creators would create content in the first place, I mean, again, a downward spiral. You know, they, they expect uh, YouTube to be like, you know, oh, look at this original uh, content. Well, if you're removing some of the reasons why people create content in the first place, <sighs> you're never going to get to this point that it is something people look at like, you know, as, as an alternative. You, you, you get alternative uh, entertainment than Netflix, Hulu, and, and, and Amazon, you know? Uh, I know for myself, if I, you know, if there, if it really gets that much more, like, if it, if it, if, God, I just can't even talk, um, if the changes they make to YouTube become much more extreme than it is now with them removing the community element, removing the individual people element from YouTube, um, I'll eventually abandon my account. I kind of said that in my last video, but I just, I'm kind of reiterating this. And if I abandon YouTube and I abandon Google+, Plus, I'll also be abandoning uh, Google as the, my search engine. And I know I'm just kind of repeating what I said earlier, but I'm, I'm not going to be the, the, the only one that does this. I guess I'm just repeating myself. I just know that they will be struggling. They will be struggling really badly. Milton Bradley. Um, so, that's my prediction for Google.